this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to sign up for conversationexchange.com and how to use the website to find a language exchange partner. If you have any questions about the process, leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to answer them when I have time. Now, on with the video. First, you want to go to conversationexchange.com, click sign up, and enter your email address. After you click submit, you'll have to confirm your email. After confirming your email, enter a nickname and your information, such as your country, the town you live in, your gender, and your date of birth. Next, select your native language. For the purpose of this video, I selected Arabic, but select whatever your native language is. If you speak more than one native language, you can press the plus button and select a second native language. Then you want to select your practicing language which if you're watching my video is likely going to be English. Afterwards, select the type of conversation you want, whether it's face-to-face -face or using a chat software, such as Zoom. Then enter your hobbies and interests or topics that you would like to talk about with your prospective language partners. Finally, just enter a brief description of who you are as a person, putting in whatever you'd like. Create a password for your account, Certify that you're over 18 years of age, read the terms of service and privacy policy if you wish, and then click sign up. After signing up, click on search. From here, you can describe your language partner. They should be speaking the language that you wish to practice. So if you want to practice English, make sure to select English as the language they speak. Ideally, you want them to be learning the language you speak so you can do language exchange. From there, select the type of exchange you want, whether it's face-to-face -face or using a chat software. You can also select the gender of the people you wish to match with. After these inputs, you'll be given a list of people that meet your requirements, and you can scroll through them all and select people that you may wish to talk to. From there, click on the letter next to their name and send them a message. Type a message into the box, saying that you would love to chat with them and become language partners. Click send. One tip I have for you guys is look for the thumbs up button next to a person's name. This means that people have rated them positively in the past. It doesn't mean that someone who doesn't have a thumbs up isn't going to be a bad partner. It may just mean that they're new to the platform.